I think the simplistic one is go for it or just do it, which we all use, but it is a bit of an easy thing to say and harder to do. But if you dig beneath that phrase, there is a commitment and a courage there that is required to do that. So although I would just say go for it or just do it, it sounds a bit flippant, but actually if you really understood what that phrase meant deep down, it means commitment and courage and determination and and all that. So so that's one message. Just do it, just go for it. Um when I when I did the global challenge around the World Yacht Race, I had thirty reasons why not to do it, and that was kind of the one reason against that. But I knew it was bigger in a way. Um, my second message I talk about I talk about living life to the full. So if you start with the end in mind and picture lying on your deathbed and looking back on your life, have you really lived it the way you wanted to and with no regrets at that point? And there's, there's no point in getting to that point without having lived your life because it's too late then. So I talk to people about imagine you're lying on your deathbed and you're playing your sort of action replay button of your life. Is it going to be stuffed with answering emails and watching telly and going to sleep? Or is it going to be, you know, threaded with moments and experiences and adventures that are inspirational and amazing and wonderful and fulfilling and giving and charitable and eye-opening and awesome and inspiring and, and maybe painful and tough and difficult as well so that's my second sort of message or or vision if you like and then the third one oh yes I'd if I may I get I get asked a lot about do I have children so there's a lot of women and men who would who would ask me a question have you got any children and I know where they're coming from with that question because they're basically saying I'm guessing you haven't got children and I haven't I've got stepchildren and therefore you can go off and do all these things of course but but I'd just like to cover that because for 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 women especially and 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 fathers too if they do have children and they find that is a reason or an excuse not to do something I would say that if the children were generally um, fit and healthy and able and not reliant on you too much for their health and well-being, not overly, and if you had a decent conversation with your partner or your supporting people around you, that those children then would learn more and grow more from you having gone off for a little while to do your adventure than if you didn't. They'd be inspired by you, they'd be proud of you, they'd learn from it and you'd come back with these amazing stories and memories and uh, you know lessons and learnings about resilience and, and, and living life to the full and all that. So, so that's my final message specifically to parents, I guess. If your children aren't overly reliant on you for any particular reason, they're generally healthy and cared for. And if you can talk to your either your other half or, or anyone else around you and explain that dream and to your children, if they're old enough, I think they would be almost kind of better off, if you like, yeah. without you being present for yeah. a month or three months yeah. even. They'd, they'd yeah. survive yeah. and they'd probably learn and grow and be inspired by it.